Robert Kubica took a Sunday drive through the Italian countryside last weekend to pick up the Lorenzo Bandini Trophy. It's presented annually by the Village of Brissichella to the most exciting new talent in Formula One in honour of the former Ferrari driver who died at Monaco in 1967. Uh, normally Sunday I'm, I prefer to stay at home, but this Sunday was uh, pretty funny. I would say that uh, I never had so much fun driving F1 car on, on the straight line at 90 kilometres per hour, but it was something amazing, you know, to go into the... A city into the town, very small town in the square, in the middle of the square with a lot of people was uh, with Formula One car is something special and amazing. The award was obviously for your achievements in 2007, but it's 2008 that you've really been making a big splash. Why do you think you're excelling so much this year? I'm just struggling less than last year and uh, I can extract, I can do a better job uh, with the car and I can extract more, more from the car. Kubica's string of impressive results, including a career first pole in Bahrain, has helped elevate BMW Sauber to second in the Constructors' Championship. They have a two-point advantage over McLaren, but is their track advantage starting to wane? Well, I think uh, two races ago in Barcelona we were very similar to, to McLaren. I would say same pace, so I was even uh, very happy about it. We faced some problems in uh, Istanbul with lower downforce the configuration car we were not uh, on speed of same speed as uh, as mclaren and ferrari so how does the pole rate the team's chances of keeping up with the high rollers here on the famous monaco streets our new car doesn't fit uh, as perfect as last year car here here is very uh, narrow very short corner so you have to have very reactive car very quick car on on changing direction so uh, it will be not easy but we have to see how our cars sit to this track and then we'll see